Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Tisha. And today I'm bringing you a new style of video. Not really new because as you know, I'm a candle loving girl, but I thought it would be kind of interesting, especially if you do love candles and you shop a lot of like say Bath and Body Works or Goose Creek. Are there any other companies out there or um, candles that are more accessible to you that um, burn just as well? And like I said, I burn a lot of candles. I burn like six a week. So I do have some thoughts um, that I think I could share with you guys. And so I figured I'd do just like once a month showcasing a new brand that I've never tried before. I have some very affordable, I've already um, got some from like Walmart, Target, those brands of candles. And then I have some ideas for a few that are a little bit more pricier than say a Bath and Body Works, but I wanna know, are they worth it? And I have a couple of really fun companies that I've ordered one candle from that are on the way. So those will be coming in future videos. But for today, I'm gonna to start <clears throat> this series and kind of showcase, I think I'll call it just like candle showcase, a different brand. And the first brand I chose was Ulta Beauty. Um, I've seen Ulta Beauty candles for at least the last year or so. I, they might've had them longer. And I know that they sell, I think Homeworks possibly also online and in stores. Um, it's another company that they just sell at Ulta or at least online. But I've never decided to buy, um, <clears throat> I have so many candles, Bath & Body Works, but um, they included this in the first week of the 21 Days of Beauty. So these were 50% off. Regularly priced, they're 20, but I've never seen them actually stay that price for very long. Ulta does a lot of sales, a lot of sales. So they might be included in there, <clears throat> buy one, get one half off, or buy one, get one free, or they just slash the price to $10 a candle. So they're usually very affordable. So I'm putting this in that more affordable range of $10 because it is a standard three wick, whoop, almost dropped that, 14.5 ounce. So I was, it, I looked online, they didn't give a burn time, but it is a soy blend. And <clears throat> the soy blend candles, typically the claims are that they burn cleaner, less soot, they burn slower because they the soy is a slower burning wax than like a paraffin. Um, I haven't put that to the test because like I said, I've pretty much always burnt. Some candles have been gifted me, to me, but I maybe not paid attention from say like Walmart, but <clears throat> sorry, I have like really bad allergies right now. So I still really, really wanted to film. So I hope I'm not too annoying with that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, I've never had a soy blend candle. So I thought that was also a really good reason to try these as well, to see if they really do burn slower and cleaner and put out less soot because we all have probably seen where the soot's going crazy and you definitely don't want to be marking up your walls with that stuff. So any other claims on this? Yeah, that just it lasts longer because it burns slower so it's not burning through your wax as fast. Um, I grabbed two, I, want to try, I wanted to try both and they were $10. So basically they were like, buy one, get one free. Um, so I grabbed Sparkling Clementine and they do not include the notes so I looked them up online. And then Beachside Bonfire. And so the notes for Sparkling Clementine are aldehyde, bergamot, sugared blood orange, citrus, and mandarin swirl. And, um, you know, I, again, I don't know if this is the soy blend. It's not super strong on cold, which <clears throat> a lot of fruity candles really are. And then they can either perform very well or kind of be duds, but this is very light. I smell the mandarin. I smell the blood orange, um, but it's pretty light on cold. So once I got these yesterday in the mail, I was kind of thinking that they'd be stronger, just, you know, initial smell, but I definitely, um, I don't smell any floral in here. I smell the citrus, the mandarin, and I guess that sugared blood orange. So I will um, be lighting this up and I'm going to cut the wicks. Although these wicks are pretty short. I don't know. You can kind of see they are pretty short. I mean, might have two inches there. So, um, but I will trim them just because I do know that that helps the candle, uh, the wick. And then also I grabbed the Beachside Bonfire and I was hoping this was kind of like a marshmallow uh, fireside, like the candle from, um, Bath and Body Works, or they had a uh, summer marshmallow a, a few years ago. It was like one of my favorite smells ever. But the notes in this one are dewy apple, mandarin bit buds, white peach, rose petals, creamy magnolia, stargazer lily, tonka, chiffon musk, transparent amber. So a lot going on in here. And it does have, I mean, a sweet, it's, there's like no vanilla in here, but I smell like a vanilla 
which would kind of be like that marshmallow. So I'm, I'm really high hopes for this. <laughs> um, I'm really hoping that it performs. This one is a little stronger on cold. And I smell like a sweet perfume in here, which I think might be contributed by the amber and the musks. There's 17 notes in this candle. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen when I light it up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the wicks. I'm going to go light these for a couple hours. And then in this video, I'm going to come back, hopefully not looking too bad, and kind of give you all my thoughts on the Ulta Beauty Soy Blend candles. So stay tuned for that. <clears throat> hey guys, I'm back. So closer to the end of the day, uh, you know, I, you can tell from my hair, got my don't be suspicious shirt on. So I've changed, but I let these candles go for about four hours today. And, um, I want to start out by saying that in the beginning of this video, I was a little hesitant to come back and talk about the throw because they were not very strong on cold. So I was like, eh, these are probably gonna be duds. They're probably gonna be those candles you have to stand right over to smell, or they just wouldn't have a throw at all. But both of these, um, I'm very happy to say, had a very strong throw. I had the uh, Sparkling Clementine in my kitchen, which is the open concept, so it fills, I mean, it, it, it has to, I mean, it's a big space. So it's a kitchen, dining room, living room, it's all open, there's no walls or anything to separate. So I had stuck this one in the kitchen and lit it up, trimmed the wicks, and uh, pulled right away. I could smell it within 10 minutes throughout the room. I, I thought that was amazing. Very nice throw. Um, I would give it a solid eight out of 10. The burn on this one, I'll just start separately. The burn on this one, on the Sparkling Clementine, was very clean. Um, yeah, and it, it smells a little stronger now that it's been burnt than it did in, on cold. And like I said, these arrived yesterday. It isn't super cold here, but maybe when I first smelled them, they just were cold and they just weren't as strong of a smell. But the wax is very clean. Um, like I said, it burnt for about four hours and so it's not quite completely um, hardened yet, but uh, I thought it did really well and I could smell this within 10 minutes. Walked out of the room, did some things, came back in. This had filled the room. Very pleasantly surprised. So. Maybe there's something is, you know, there is something to that soy blend. It wasn't burning quick. I think possibly it had burnt to about here in four hours. So it was pretty slow burning, but it was automatic thrower. Pretty happy with that. So I am recommending these candles from Ulta Beauty. Again, um, look for a sale. I wouldn't, I don't spend $20 on candles. We can get them too many places and we don't need to spend that kind of money on this, but when they are on sale, they had a ton of scents. Um, they had not quite a few, there wasn't very many bakery. There was quite a few floral, some more tropical sounding and very, a lot of fruity scents. So I'm recommending, um, that was a solid eight within 10 minutes of burning. I have to complete, um, the burn. So like I said, in case that changes, you'll see these in a post burn review, but it was at least four hours because I lit it up I want to say at like seven and I don't think I put it out until maybe 1 30 2 o'clock so and it hadn't burnt down very far it was really still quite close to the top but I was checking in on the candle because I wanted to come back and talk about it and I thought that for as quickly as it pooled as clean as it was burning I could tell a difference I, I'm still learning about soy so there'll be more to come on that. Um, if you guys have any information on soy candles, I, this was the first brand that I ever noticed. Uh, it was a soy candle. So the beachside bonfire was even nicer. I would give this one a nine out of 10. And I had this in my bedroom, but I had the door open and they were separate. So one wasn't, you know, giving the other one any help. Um, I could smell the clementine more and that mandarin in the kitchen. And then this had the a beachy vanilla marshmallow, almost like a fire burning. It was very nice. So this was my top one, but I actually recommend both. Um, so again, this is just going to be a new type of video I do. I have a couple more brands coming. Um, they're going to be all over the spectrum in terms of pricing. Um, sorry about the glare on my glasses, but uh, the makeup's not looking too great. And I didn't want to do too much to finish up this video, but if you're ever in the market or if you shop at Ulta Beauty already, or if you have points, you can get them for free. Um, I wouldn't count out the Ulta Beauty Soy Candles. They were um, really nice performing. They performed just as well as my Bath & Body Works and Goose Creek on the first burn. Um, but I will have more thoughts on these in a post burn review. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if there's any candle brands that you're interested in me doing. I'll check it out. I have two coming. So I'm going to do these like once a month. I don't want to go crazy. Like I said, I have a quite the collection, but I have two more coming that I'm very excited to share. Um, just looking up unique candles and the backstory on one of the brands is so cool. So that'll be coming as soon as it gets to me and I can burn it. But I just wanted to start with um, something that's very accessible. You can order off Ulta's website and these came through the mail and they were not shipped great. I don't know if you guys have any experience with Ulta. Like I said, they throw a candle in with an eyeshadow palette and call it a day. But these I had just ordered separately and they were bubble wrapped. I cannot promise you you're getting bubble wrap. I think it just depends on the mood of the packer. But um, if you don't have an Ulta near you, you can get them online. And like I said, you can get them for $10, which is pretty comparable to the best price that Bath & Body Works has, which is like candle day. Um, you can also use that $3.50 off 15 coupon on these because any Ulta brand or um, affordable brands, you can use that coupon to make them even cheaper. And I think the free shipping on Ulta is like $30 or $35. So, I mean, you might have to factor all that in. All that is, all of that being said, um, I do recommend this brand. And I was actually very surprised. I was overwhelmingly surprised. I was including my family and like, this is a pretty strong candle, aren't they? And they don't have a clue that it's anything different. But I was getting other uh, rec other uh, opinions because I didn't know if I was just, you know, being a weird candle nut. But I definitely recommend the Ulta brand. And I have, um, I'm going to do both like a candle brand showcase. And then I'm also going to do like a battle of. So if I find another $10, I might check like TJ Maxx or some other um candle place in the area that's local. I have one coming from Target and Walmart, but that one was, it's kind of a want want, but I will share that with you soon. So I'm going to be doing some showcasing and then I'm also going to be doing um, kind of like a battle of the brands. So if that sounds interesting to you, uh, like this video, comment down below um, any thoughts that you have, and uh, I will see you guys in the video very soon. Thanks everybody. Bye.